Okay. Um, I was asked by a couple of people how to set up Organizer, um, so I thought I would make a video since there are no windows set up for Organizer. Um, if you look, there's a couple in another language, and I think there's one for Ubuntu, um, but uh, none for Windows. So I'm going to do a Windows setup of Organizer. It's actually very easy, but I know the first time I did it, I was having some issues, and um, I thought it'd be really nice to have a um, tutorial to follow. So anyway, Organizer is an amazing program. I can't imagine living without it now that I have lived with it for as long as I have. Um, it just basically organizes all your regular, uh, regularly visited you know, um, websites. Sorry, stumbling over my words here. Um, and it's just easy to access. You get to everything in just a click of a button. Sonar, radar, radar, lazy librarian. Um, there's my NAS. It opens in a separate page. It always takes a minute to start up. There we go. We're just going to not wait for that. Um, NZB Git. And we got uTorrent. Ombi, Tautili, Jacket, and these are my personal web pages and um, my stores. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it. But to do it, I have to um, uninstall all this to show you how to how to put everything together. But I have backed up all my settings. So if you ever need to uninstall and it's important, make sure you make a backup of your settings. Um, I'm going to show you where it, where the settings go to. You want to go into your C drive, and there should be a folder right here in GINX. So I have NGINX0, that's my backup. So um, so I can uninstall this one and still have all my settings backed up. Okay? So um, I'm going to uninstall mine. And we're going to right click uninstall and run as administrator. And it just says press any key to continue. And it's going to stop and delete everything. See nothing to it. Press any key to continue and you're done. And now if we go back to that same folder, um, you will see, where is it? All I have left now is my backup folder. The original folder is gone. And if we go to, um, see it's still there, but if I refresh the page, everything's gone. You can even take off sonar. It just saves as under, under local host. See, nothing there. All right, so now we're going to set it up. So the first thing you got to do is uh, Google, my best friend, and you just want to look up Organizer, O-R-G-A-N, I can't spell right now, it's too late, I'm tired, Organizer Windows. All righty, and you want to go down to the fourth one and do this one right here, that's the direct link. <clears throat> Um, now you don't want to do releases like I did in my last video. You just clone or download and download as a zip. It has um, installation instructions down here you can follow. It's pretty easy to follow. Um, so you just want to um, unzip it, right click, 7-zip, extract to, but I already have it right here so I'm just going to delete it. Okay, so we just want to go into here, Windows, OWI, and we just right here installer right click and make sure you run it as an administrator yes we're going to close all of this make it bigger and press any key to continue now do you want to install or uninstall i for um install or u for uninstall where do you want it to install now you can give it a location right here or you could just press enter and it will install it at c colon backslash n g i n x like i showed a minute ago do you want an SSL enabled site and, and you have to have a domain name for that so um, I'm gonna say no and now you just leave it alone and let it do its downloading of the sources okay when we get to this part now you want to put in your Windows password if you have a pin created the pin won't work you have to make sure you put in the password and be very careful to make sure you get it correct because you only get one shot and then you have to start this process over again. <clears throat> now 
Now it's going to download Organizer. So it'll only take a minute or so. Okay, and we're done, and that's all there is to it. Press any button to continue. It's going to close it out. It's going to delete all the zip files that it just downloaded, and it's going to open you up into Organizer. And it'll also bring up a, a help page here that's going to walk you through a little bit of the setup. Okay, read that. Feel free to read through it. Now, notice it's just set as local host. The first time I did it, I closed this page on accident, and then I could not for the life of me figure out how to get back to... <laughs> how to get back here. I was looking up what IP address is it under. I finally figured it out. So it's just localhost. I have it set as my home page. So you can do the same as you uh, uh, if you want. Excuse me. I'm stuttering again. This is what I get for doing videos late at night. Okay. So we have uh, personal has everything unlocked. No restrictions. Business has media items hidden. So let's do personal. Now you just want to create a username and a password here. I'm going to do my regular um, let's see how about that one all right um, create a key here like a pin number and make a password whatever password you want I'm going to use the same one I just used in the other one And next, now it's just telling you where your databases are going to save to, and you got to create a name for it here. So I'm just going to do DB for database, and then you they want you to enter a path here, okay? Uh, and you don't want to create a directory, just tell them where to put the directory. So let's close that. Um, so I'm going to put it right in the, so everything's in the same place. I'm going to put it in the, in the install directory right here on ng-inx. So I'm just going to copy that, C colon forward slash or backslash um, NGINX. So we're going to go back in and we're going to put that here. And we're going to test and create path. Path is good to go. All right. Let's go next. Now it's just going to want you to verify everything. You can hover to show your information. Um, just make sure everything's right and pre press finish. Now it's going to want you to log in. Now it's going to tell me my password's wrong. Try it again. Okay, and as you can see now, I don't have any tabs anymore. Okay, so now I'm not going to walk you through every single setup. Um, there's a lot of customization and, and personal choices like colorization and themes and everything. I'm going to let you guys handle that. I'll just walk you through very quickly the tab editor. There's absolutely nothing to it. Um, you just want to, let's say, well, I want to add Plex, okay? So I'm going to open up Plex. Okay, so we want to add Plex. We just copy the address. And we go over here and we add a tab. We're just going to call it Plex. We're going to put the URL. And all we got to do now is add a photo or an icon. We can test it if we want, and let's add the tab. <clears throat> and there you go. You see it's an iframe, which means it'll come up inside of Organizer. It'll be integrated with Organizer, and you can set it as your default page if you want. Um, okay, now let's add another one. How about um, MB? Let's do an MB. An MB is going to be a pain in the butt and not open for me. All right, let's do something else. Let's do... Um, MB seems to always be having issues. But let's do my, um, oh, let's see, let's do NZB Git. All right, so all we got to do is copy the address. Same thing. So we're going to say NZB Git. And I'm going to say NAS because it's on my NAS. And then URL. And then go right here and look up NZB Git. I'm gonna test it. Successful and add it. Okay, now there's also pages that you add that cannot be integrated as part of the thing. It'll open in a separate page. For example, my um let me hang on, let me look it up here. My uh qubit. 
for some reason will not integrate like uh, NZB Git or uTorrent. Um, and it always takes a long time to open. But we're just going to not worry about that right now. We're just going to copy the page. We're going to add that in. Oh, not that URL. So we're going to say qubit NAS. Now, uh, let's see if we got a qubit on here. And there we go. Test. Now you see red here, it just says it needs to be set as a new window. So it cannot work, it will not work as an iframe. It'll only work as a new window. Okay? Now you want to make sure you also enable them. Like right here, you see home page is uh, not active. If you want to activate it, if you want the home page, you activate the uh, home page. Now let's do one more external source that is not um, recognized by organizer. So like say for example Facebook. We want to have a Facebook link so we could just you know click on it and go straight to our Facebook. If you want it to go to your page um, go directly to your page and uh, copy the link right there. Um, we're gonna add that. Now wait before we do that we actually need to go find an icon because they are not gonna have it. Um, Facebook icon with a uh, P that's a PNG with a transparent background so let's look that up. Facebook icon uh, round PNG. Let's find a good one. So like that one you can see it's got a transparent background. The white and gray checkers means it's got a transparent background. That one's pretty neat. Um, but it doesn't look to be... Let's do this one. Oh, and see when you open it up it doesn't have the transparent background. Let's see. Uh, nope, that's a JPEG. Um... Let's give this one a shot, even though it doesn't look right. Let's see. And see, it's coming up PNG. So we want to save. You can always rename them, but um, just for the sake of making things easier and not having to worry about if it doesn't work, we'll just pick one that's already. Oh, and I have Ace Book. <laughs> so let's save that one. And yes, I want to replace it. Okay, so now let's try adding Facebook again. Oh, you know what? Silly me, I gotta actually add the image. So, um, add that one in there, and it says it's successful. Let's go back to tab, and you know what, I think it's going to want me to um, log out and log back in to be able to see that icon again. Alright, so now it should be available, let's go give it a try. I really wish, if, if anybody's watching that's, that's uh, responsible of this, can you make a reload button? That would be wonderful. So we don't have to log out and log back in every single time. Oh, and that's not the right address. So we don't have to log out and log back in every time we want to make changes. So I'm going to go to my page. Copy the address. Um, and let's give it a try now. Facebook. Alright. Thank you, Lord. Okay, now it just says to add it as a new window. So new window. Now again, oh, and look, it just came up and said there was a reload. Now where'd it go? I don't see reload anywhere. They need to add it just right here to the main menu. Alrighty, so to be able to see that, we're going to have to log back out and log back in. I will fast forward. All right, back, we're back, and now you see there's Facebook. Okay, so um, let's let's give them a test. Let's test them. So we got Plex. We got my Q, my uh, NZB Git. We got Qubit, which opens in a separate page. I'm not gonna even open it all the way. Um, and then we got Facebook. And there you go. Okay. Now you can also go back and reorganize how the pages are displayed. So like for me, for example, I go in the order of how often I use them. So I would move home page to the bottom. Some people use home page a lot. Um, I don't. But um, if you want to set up the home page, it's really simple. You go in here to home page items. For example, let's do, um, I like to keep track of my downloads. So let's do NZB Git. I think I already have it enabled, but let's do it anyway. If it, you, yours will probably say like that. Just enable it. And then you got to go to connection and you got to make sure you put in the right connection. Okay, and then you got to have your username and your password for your um, whatever you're putting in here. 
Okay, and then let's test connection. Testing now, successful, save. All right, now you can go to home page order. Now obviously if you have more, the ones that um, you've enabled will be enabled. You know, they'll be, um, you'll be able to do stuff with them. And you can drag them around, you know, put them, put them however you want. So I'm just gonna save it like that. And let's go to the home page now. I'll give it a second here to load. And there you go, you can see all my downloads that are downloading. And you, and, and you could do that with all the things that you want to do. You could do it with Plex and MB and I honestly just like to keep track. I like to have the page for with all my downloads. So if I just don't want to go to the pages and I just want to do a quick look on, you know, what progress is going on, um, I do that. So on mine I have set up my NZB Git and my Q my Qubit. And then I don't really have anything else. I'd rather just go to Plex to see what's going on with Plex. But that's completely up to you guys. So I really hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any uh, suggestions for anything else you'd like to see me make a video for, please feel free to ask in the comments. And I really hope this helped you out, guys. So thank you so much. Enjoy it and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.